Iowa were too cool to pronounce the S's. It's black, number 16. So, how many Mid American trucks does it take to screw in a light bulb? Five. That's right, five. Davo here, vlog number 16. Yes, we have traveled through 16 of these. And in this show, or this vlog, whatever it is, we're going to be covering a little bit of a rant, short one, not as long as the last couple of ones. Uh, trying to shorten it and make it a little easier for people. Most people just don't have the attention span, maybe for 30 minutes. I don't know. I think they're long enough. I watch lots of other people's, they're a lot longer, um, depending on the content. Anyway, uh, just uh, sitting here at the Skin Kitchen, home of the Axiom, where I do the piercing of the bodies. It's cold outside, wearing the lefty's hoodie because of that. The lovely, soft, wool-like insert. This is where I do the piercing of the bodies. Speaking of which, special this uh, that's running till the end of the month. Uh, $15 off the piercing of your choice. You have to go to the website and get the code word and all the information. And that website, I will list in the links, but it is axiompiercing.com. You can get all the details there. If you want to know more about me, of course, you can always go to my personal site. Have, have a Spotify playlist in the works. Should be out later this week, davoaxiom.com. Um, as far as upcoming shows, tonight, because I usually post this about 3 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, so it's, most of you don't see it till Thursday at the soonest. Uh, we're doing a Germs tribute with three bands. It was going to be four, now it's three. Um, yeah, was four, now three. The Germs, uh, the reason we're doing it tomorrow, it's December 7th, is because it is the day that Darby Clash um, passed away, uh, kind of to celebrate his contribution to American culture and punk rock in general. Uh, $5, doors at 7 should be a good show. Retakes, I'm looking forward to seeing. On this episode, we're going to be uh, showing a little bit of footage, or I'm going to be showing a little bit of footage, of one of my favorite bands, Ford Defiance, so stay tuned for that. As far as a rant, <laughs> kicked around a lot of ideas. Uh, one thing that seems to be centralized of late, I had somebody recently tell me that I needed to grow up, <laughs> get my act together. Um, stop acting like a, a 30 year old or a 20 year old. Um, and, and it was after I had made some statements about some of my beliefs and some of the things I was involved with and where I wanted to go with my life and things that were important to me. The perception I got was this idea that at some, some age, at some point, you're supposed to just magically stop giving a hoot about anything that's important to you. This whole concept of you're too old to do that, that's just what, you know, change and et cetera, and social issues are all about young people, and that's who changes the world. I don't believe that. Two of my favorite examples of that would be Mother Jones and uh, Mr. Milk. Um, those that don't know, Mother Jones was a uh, school teacher and I believe a dressmaker. She uh, lost her entire family uh, to deal with illness. She found herself without a husband, without a family. Uh, then her business burnt down in the, the Great Fire in Chicago. And she didn't know what to do with herself. And what she did was she picked up the, uh, the movement of uh, workers' rights and was heavily involved in union activity from about 1896 until she passed away in 1930. This concept, I mean, this woman was just tenacious, and from what she's been described as, she was a small, kind of just old, nice lady who had a fire in ideas and stick to itiveness to the point where often many of the people around them that it was actually, actually benefiting did not have the same passion. 
Um, Harvey Milk. Some people know who he is mainly because of the movie with Sean Penn. I, I think Sean Penn was in that movie. I don't know. Sean Penn's been in so many movies. Here's a guy who lived a pretty average, kind of normal life. Um, if I remember correct, he was closeted, as in he wasn't out about his sexuality until he moved to San Francisco. Vince happened out there, got him involved in the gay activist movement. And within a short period of time, he became probably one of the biggest leaders in the gay rights activist or uh, movement in South or San Francisco in the 1970s. He was killed by a lunatic. Um, the movie goes into a lot of a lot of a lot more into that, and I have read a lot about him over the years. But here's this guy, how he died is not really that important or the stupid way the guy got away with doing it. What's important is here's a guy who's in his 40s where most people consider themselves, they're set. That's their life. That's the way everything's going to be. Just like Mother Jones. I'm sure at some point, it's like I have a family, I'm a school teacher. This is the way things are going to go. And then events happen in their life, either a change in location or a a new interest or being kind of shown an example or something has happened that gives them this fire that says, you know what? I got plenty of time on my hands. I can do this. So my challenge to you is, is stop looking at people by their age. Ageism is stupid. I don't care if you're 12 or you're 58 or you're 92. If you have a good idea, you have a passion for something, doesn't have to be social, does not have to be political. Just go out and, and pursue it, even if it's just a new hobby. You're never too old. That said, coming up next, one of my favorite bands. I discovered this band on one of those days when I was getting a lot of booking emails and a lot of stuff I didn't really care for, which happens from day to day. And you just, every once in a while, you come across just something that just sparks your imagination and makes you really go, oh, this is why I do this. <laughs> Hailing from Nashville, Tennessee, by way of various other parts of the nation in the south, southeast, they put me in the mind of a lot of different things. There's some hard living fun, uh, folk in there. There's some uh, standard old school country. Um, I hear Woody Guffrey in there. I also hear some alt country, some, some of those harmonies, kind of more modern. Um, put me in the mind of Dave Alvin at times. Stuff that I listened to a lot when it was first coming around and people gave me a lot of crap for it because it wasn't punk. There's some heart. There's some soul here. And the only way for you to realize that is to actually watch it. So here we are. Fort Defiance. Uh, we painted the house purple. Yeah. That's cool. And now we have a purple house that we don't live in. <laughs> anyway, we uh, we made a brand new music video and it'll be coming out probably the beginning of next year, maybe the end of this one. Uh, we're real proud of it. Some crazy suckers spent a whole lot of money on it. <laughs> Not us, we didn't spend anything on it. But he likes us well enough to drop all of his cash in a few days worth of work. A big old crew of folks making a video for this song. So, uh, I hope you like it. We played it at the CMA festival and this guy decided to make a video for it, so it must be okay. Oh, and 
Who likes sausage? Sausage! This is a song about sausage. the footage right now of that so we'll see which one I which clip I do put on there my friend Becky was a little bit loud she kept knocking the camera over it was a fun night she was off the leash for the evening so to speak um hope you enjoyed that I really do uh they are going to be coming back in January the 25th it's a Thursday I know it's a weekday I can't go out on a weekday the doors are at 7. Usually most shows on Thursdays are over by 11 o'clock. You can miss an hour of sleep to have a good time. Uh, tickets will be on sale at some point. What have you. If you need any information about what's going on at Lefties, please check out their website, lefteslivemusic.com. Um, if you'd like to find out more about me, click on uh, Davo. There'll be a little thing up here at some point. DavoAxiom.com, that's my personal site. Uh, there will be some probably some blogs being posted there, hopefully later this week. Probably be doing another piercing blog at the Axiom Piercing site. Other than that, I've enjoyed this little rant, little time with you. I think it's the shortest one I've done so far. So, if you're older and you feel like you just don't have anything to do, find something, please. Because reality is, is, everybody I know that's lived a long and full life has never stopped moving. I always use the example of my mother. She was told repetitively over and over again that she had a disease that would be taking her life within three to five years. She outlived, first time was in the 80s. I told her she had five years to live. Then in the 90s, she was told that she had five years to live, and she lived to 2010. And part of the reason is because she just stayed active. She went out, she did stuff, she had things to look forward to, people in her life, and stuff that mattered to her. So always remember that. Find something that matters and get into it. Go down that rabbit hole. Other than that, thanks a lot for joining me. Enjoyed our time together. Have a good week. 
and I'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully. One, two, three.